whenever we apply a force we are generating perhaps a displacement now it might not happen like that but the relationship between force and its displacement is going to be called work work is a scalar uh, magnitude and is given as the dot product between force dot product displacement is the relationship between these two for instance if we have a graph of displacement in X for instance and the force and the force is going to be constant then force times displacement is the area below this line it's going to be a dot product between two vectors which gives me a scalar remember that dot product states that I am going to have for instance the force component X in I component Y in J component Z in K and the displacement component X in I component Y in J component Z in K and the dot product is just going to be component X times component X plus component Y times component Y plus component Z times component Z and if I am multiplying force which is given in Newtons times <coughs> displacement which is given in meters this will lead to a new um, unit which is called Joule remember as well that since this is a dot product then this is going to be the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine between, between the cosine of the angle between the force and the displacement for instance if we have any given situation a box and we apply a force if the force is perfectly parallel to the displacement then the work is given by work force times displacement but in other given situation if I have a force and the displacement makes an angle this is the angle between the force and the displacement so I have to input the cosine force times displacement times the cosine of that angle this will generate that if the displacement goes towards one direction completely perpendicular to the force this force will not generate work now whenever we are moving this object we can actually give it uh, velocity which means if we have already given velocity that will translate in an energy which we call the kinetic energy the kinetic energy is the energy when this has a velocity is given as one half of mass velocity squared there is a theorem which relates work with energy both of them are given in joules and it states that whenever there is a work it's because there is a change in kinetic energy which means one half of mass final velocity to the square minus one half of mass initial velocity to the square this relationship is called the theorem of work kinetic energy which implies if I perform a work is because there is a change in velocity then there is another concept which is called the power now the power is the change in work at a given time this is if we want the average power of course if we are stating 
that the power instantaneous power it's going to be the derivative of work or the change in work due to time since work is force times displacement if the work is constant if the force is constant we can extract it and then we get that this is the dot product force with velocity once again we are talking about that dot product between two vectors which means we need to obtain a dot product or we can actually state there is a cosine of an angle between both of them the power is given in joules per second this we will call them the what? There are other units of power, for instance, there are horsepower or the English system. We know that one horsepower is 746 